So my name is Santino D'Angelo. I am a composer and a playwright. Uh, I'm a current student at Columbia University, uh, and I was did my undergrad in classical civilization and mythology at Binghamton University under John Starks. You know, when I came to Binghamton University, I came to be a music student, and I went to the music department, and I knocked on the door and I said, hi, I'm here to be a music student. And they were all right, sit down on the piano and play. And so I played a little bit of the piano and they were like, well, you know, you're more advanced than our beginners, but you're not really advanced enough to be in our advanced class. We don't really have a space for you here. And I remember being just devastated and being like, well, all right, what am I going to do now? And I, I had always liked um, the classical world and I went to, um, so I like walked upstairs and um, knocked on this Latin one um, door, and I thought, well, let's try something totally different. And um, I'll never forget, uh, John Starks stopped his class, and because I said I was a prospective student, and he came out, he talked to me for about 15 minutes, and I was like, this is a man that stopped his actual class to talk to me. If nothing else, this is going to be a place where people care about me, and that's going to be worth it. And from that point forward, I was a classical major um, all through my all four years of my undergrad. So it's an awesome. They're they're really like a family. I love them very much. Did you have any before that? No, <laughs> no. And I'm still not particularly good at it. I've never been a never been a language student. I was always a civ kid, but uh, but I love it. You know, I think people like me who who work in classical reception, who use use the classical world to make new pieces of art, we fundamentally believe that our future and the future of our society is in the past. And so every time I go back to the classical world, I am looking for a deeper human truth that I that still resonates today. And that's what's so amazing about being a classical major. You're like a treasure hunter, you know, but your your treasure is people and human behavior. And that's I mean I if I could do that for the rest of my life, I'm, I'm that happy. So since I was always interested in music and theater, when I was part of the classical program at Binghamton University, I asked you know, what can we do? Can we, you know, can I make art here? And they were like, you absolutely can. And so uh, when I was a sophomore, I wrote a ballet based on uh, Pygmalion from um, Ovid. And it was about 45 minutes with a full orchestra that the Classical uh, Association of the Atlantic States actually uh, helped fund. And uh, we put it up and we, it was a huge success and started a trilogy of works uh, based on transformation and love in Ovid's Metamorphosis. So after I finished the ballet, the following year I did a piano cello duet based on uh, Hermaphroditus, and the story of him getting pulled into the uh, pool and becoming transgendered. Uh, so I, and I did it with a piano and a cello that sort of swapped places in the, orchest uh, the, yeah, in the orchestration of the piece.